Thank you, Mr. President. Honorable Ministers, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Bula Vinaka and a good afternoon. I bring you warm greetings and well wishes of the Fijian people. It's wonderful to be here in Romania and I would like to first thank our hosts for their warm hospitality and welcome. We'd also like to offer our heartfelt congratulations to the Secretary General-elect, Doreen Bogdan Martin, and the Deputy Secretary General-elect, Thomas Lamanaskas. An open, secure, stable, accessible, and peaceful cyberspace is crucial to fully, to fully realize the sustainable development goals and to ensure long-term financial security and prosperity. A mere 10 years ago, the consequences of a global pandemic would have been far more severe for our people and our economy. But as part of a forward-thinking, strategic, decade-long effort to modernize our economy and to develop our telecommunications, we have made historic strides in bridging the digital divide in our society. In a way, we were unsuspectingly adapting to this crisis long before anyone had ever heard of the coronavirus. Today, 95% of all Fijians have access to mobile internet connectivity through 3G, 4G, and 4G plus networks. We've also deregulated the telecommunications sector and brought in competition that has driven down prices and improved the quality of services on offer by giving consumers more choice in the marketplace. Today, call charges, text, and broadband rates are the lowest they have ever been at the highest speeds that we've ever seen. Data prices have fallen by as much as 98%. It costs approximately two Fijian dollars or 94 US cents for 10 gigabytes of data. Our access to the Southern Cross fiber optic cable network, which, which we have connected our two largest islands to, provides high speed, resilient, and secure connectivity. And we also established our national internet exchange point in 2017. Connectivity is the greatest equalizer. However, if connectivity is not ubiquitous, it can be the greatest disequalizer. That is why, as a matter of priority, the Fijian government is working to bridge the digital divide. Indeed, the remaining 5% of our population who live in the deep interiors of the two largest islands nestled between the mountains or in remote and maritime communities. These are areas outside the reach of the infrastructure of the telecommunication providers. Through our Universal Service Access Fund, we will be connecting the 240 unconnected sites. And our 26 telecenter project is bringing digital technology into the hands of Fijian students and into Fijian classrooms in underconnected regions. And it is through initiatives such as this that Fiji is transforming itself into a digital economy. Now, with these significant investments in ICTs, it has become crucial to protect our, inf our information infrastructure from the threat of cybercrime. Fiji has a Cybercrime Act of 2021, which is aligned to the Budapest Convention on Cybercrime, and we're working towards our, our ascension to the Budapest Convention as we just received our invitation last December. We're also working to review our national cybersecurity strategy due to the evolving threats that we see, and are in the process of establishing our national CERT, or Computer Emergency Response Team. Resilient infrastructure is required for sustainability, and given our heightened vulnerability due to adverse climatic events. We're particularly mindful of the urgency of ensuring that ICT infrastructure is climate resilient. Since 2014, Fiji has endured 14 cyclones. It is not difficult to imagine a severe storm destroying critical infrastructure and crippling our increasingly digital economy. To this end, and to ensure domestic and regional connectivity resilience, we're in the process of doing a feasibility study to build a second fiber cable landing station in Fiji. In closing, all these efforts, including this conference, positions us to bridge the global digital divide, the 2.9 billion people that remain totally shut out of the online world, and build trust in the digital economy. As always, Fiji remains committed to this collective vision to build a more digital, inclusive, and more resilient world. Vinaka Vakalevu, and thank you.